Hi, I'm James, and today we are working on this, which is the Dell Inspiron 15 5510 laptop. This is the 2021 edition of the Dell 15 5000 series with the Intel Core i5 11th Gen uh, 11300H processor in this specific machine. And to start with, we are going to go around. We have a Philips, I believe it is. Uh, double zero screwdriver head and we are going to go around the base starting at the front and side removing the screws from the base. In our tool set we also have a new plastic pry tool uh, as I believe it is going to be quite a tight fit on this base so by using a new tool we're giving ourselves the best chance to get in there cleanly. Uh, links for the tools and other parts that I'm using should all be in the description below as well. So with the last of these removed, we are now going to turn our attention to the three back screws. All the screws here should be the same length, I just put them to one side in the same positions that I removed them in and just place them back in the same positions. Now these back screws are retained into the chassis and as you undo these, these will create a gap at the back to ease removal of the panel. So we are going to, oh, the centre one actually on this model not retained, but the two end ones are. So. And as we undo that one as far as possible, just a little more on this one until we get that click. With that done, we are now going to take our pry tool and push it into the gap created, go along, and then work our way down the side, releasing as many of the clips as we can. And then same on the other side. I apologise for reaching around in front of the cameras here. And down the other side as well. We can now turn our attention to the back. And we're just going to lift and apply a little bit of pressure as we do this. And so work along this back section. again just a little bit of pressure just to aid with that. With that done we will then just work around the front and lift, pry in and lift the panel off the base. Once inside the machine we have our battery here and we are going to start by just disconnecting this and we are going to use the tip of the pry tool and a finger to just gently ease this out. It's always a good idea to disconnect the battery whatever jobs you're doing, particularly on these models as they have a habit of if you open the lid they will often power on, so it's always good to disconnect the battery just so you don't have an accidental power on of the system. The system's two DIMM modules are installed under these pair of covers. This system shipped with two 4 gig modules and that's how we're going to be leaving it. But just to demonstrate how to replace these, we can pull either side of the module and slot it out. And to refit it again, put it in angled up, press in and then down. And same on the other side, pull the little connectors out, or the little legs out and remove the module after it lifts up and to refit press into the slot and down to connect. Looking at the SSDs, this system actually features two SSD slots. Um, the second slot here only accommodates an M230 length drive whereas the other here can accommodate both M2-2230 and 2280 type drives. So what we are going to do is remove the cover 
from the MT2230 drive and we are going to relocate that main drive. This is a 512GB SSD in this particular model. So we are going to move that over here and refit with the cover over the top of it. So to do that we have inserted it in, press down and screw in the screw. To add a M2 2280 drive we are going to peel back this and we can see we have this little mounting bracket here. We're going to insert the end of our pry tool and if we can just slide it out. So with that done we should then be able to slide out this mounting bracket. We can then take this over to the M2 2280. We want to turn it around and slot this in so the two lugs go under here and then with the tip of our finger pull it into position and fold this back down. With that done we can then take our M2 2280 drive, insert it into the socket and screw it down. Uh, both of these drives are PCIe NVMe type drives. Uh, I don't know if this supports SATA devices but really there is little reason to um, put a SATA device into one of these. With our work completed we can now, do not forget to do this, it's always a pain when you do, reinsert our battery and take the base panel and line it back up. We can then begin pressing around the base of the system and along the back before beginning to before beginning to refit the screws into the base of the machine I like to start with the front and then at the front corners and then the back corners and then having done that we turn the rest of the screws to the base and our job should be done I hope you found this video useful, uh, if you have any questions or comments do please leave them below, hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them, and the like button if this has helped you upgrade or repair your laptop. Thanks for watching and have a great day.